So Hi there. I just wanted to ask, so sure. why are you at this church? So it's not this particular church. We do to go to every church within our area, wherever God calls us to go. All pro-life churches. And the reason we go to pro-life churches is because we feel like the Holocaust is happening today. You know, these babies being murdered. Christians aren't standing up and doing anything. They call themselves pro-life, but what does that mean? Does that mean you check a box on a voting thing? Does that mean you give money to a CPC? Uh, we feel that God calls us to do a lot more than that. And that is, go save those babies, right? If every pastor, every Christian stood up and said it's wrong, it would be illegal, especially in Texas. So you're trying to get all the Christians to stand to up. To do something, whatever God's calling you to do. Okay, because when I drive by every day, I get the impression that you're attacking this church for not doing what is right. And I understand that's what it looks like, but we're calling the church, meaning what is the church? The church isn't this building, right? The right, church the is the bride of Christ. Right. It's We're part of the church as well. Right. So we're calling the church, as in the church in general, to repent of our apathy. I had to repent of my apathy, right? I sat in a pew for many, many years just listening to a sermon that was a pro-life sermon, right? And I didn't do anything. I was convicted to say there are orphans in foster care that need to be rescued. I'm not standing in an abortion clinic doing anything. I'm giving money to a CPC to let people do it for me. So we're just calling Christians to say, get in your heart, figure out, you see what's going on here. This is horrible. I don't like looking at these images. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I weep. I really don't like driving by every week looking at it with, with my child in my car either. That's no, so I, you I, can I, ask, I second it, that because this is a church. We're a pro-life church. I don't get it. Well, Why here? Okay. Yeah, so should, I, shouldn't I, you I, be somewhere else? Not in, you know, place for a Well, you say worship. you're pro-life, but what does that mean? Tell me what that means. Well, you know, I'm not going to... It, it just doesn't make sense. This well, is, this is it does make that, sense because you're well, arguing with me that you're pro-life, but I want to understand what that well, means. I, you know what? I don't think that's okay. I don't think I'm going to get through to you. I mean, we're, you know, my I'm relationship. I'm trying to talk to you rationally. Yeah, if you can you know, tell my me. My relationship was with, with God, and I, it's not my place to to judge other women. And I am against abortion, but I. I and how are you I, against I it? Uh, no, see, you want me to be an activist and protesting. I want you to I do what God calls you to do. He calls okay, us to stand you know up what? for. He <laughs> calls us to stand up for the orphan. I'm just talking what God says in His true. Word. I'm not I, talking I, out of my own my, emotions. No, I get it, but I think you're at the wrong place. That's 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 just my opinion. If, I mean, it's a free country. But if we're at the wrong here. place, that's, that's okay. That's okay. We're, it's, be, it's between you and God. We're calling Christians. This is the best place to be. Okay. I'm alright, but thank you. Okay. Thank you for stopping. I appreciate it. If this isn't the best place, I don't know where else to go. If you can tell me, I mean. Well, no, I, I just think it's, it would be good to reach out to, to people who are not, right? We've been to pro-choice churches. You know what? Pro-choice churches flip us off and say F you in this stuff. Really? At least Christians will at least listen yeah. and say stand up. Yeah. Right? Stand up for this Holocaust. Yeah. We're also at the high schools because those are the most that are walking in those abortion clinics are high school students. Is that right? And so Planned Parenthood is at high schools telling them their options. So we just give them the other side. Sure. Like if you go with that option, this is what you're doing. Sure. And so sure. it's all, right? It's sitting in abortion mills. It's yeah. calling Christians to stand up because honestly, sir, we see so many Christians that are apathetic that just want to go in and sit in a pew for an hour and then go do their life. That's not how God calls us to do. Mm -hmm. He wants us uncomfortable. Like we shouldn't be liked in this world. If you're going in there and coming out and you're completely liked, I think you need to re-examine yourself. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. I don't like being out here. I get yelled at. I get like, yeah. I mean, sometimes I go home weeping yeah. because I'm just doing what God calls me to do. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys go to the abortion clinics? Yes. Too? In Dallas. It. We don't have much up here, thank God. Yeah. However, every Walmart, every CVS, uh -huh. ha no, thank you, has, <laughs> <laughs> has the abortion pill now. So, it's yeah, everywhere. Well, yeah, sure, it's everywhere. Sure. It's available to, to all women everywhere. Yeah. And so if I just had, I mean, yeah. some, a pastor like Chuck Swindoll or your other leader, they are so influential. If yeah. they would just stand sure. up and say, you guys, we got to get to the abortion mills. Right. we got to save those kids out of, orf right. out of orphanages. Have you guys had a chance to talk to Chuck? Um, most pastors, and I know my husband's tried to get here. We have some good news, though. Last week when we were here, there was a couple that came out uh -huh. that deals with the leaders a lot. I yeah. forget their names now, but anyways, they came to our church service on Sunday night. So they're trying to hook us up with the leaders of the church, good. which is awesome. That's yeah. what we want, right? Right. right. Yeah. Um, but when we try to call first, because we always try to call first before we stand out in front of a church, hey, sure. can you talk with us? Right. Let me explain what That's we're going to do. And, right. and usually they say no, really? well, it's not our wow. thing. So we're hoping this may open the door if yeah. this couple can help us yeah. um, or someone like yourself to say, hey, I, 
they're nice people, they're not crazy people, because right. honestly, we're not. Right, right. I yeah. honestly... Yeah. No, your message is right. And I agree, right. these images are horrible. Yeah. I wish we wouldn't have to expose it like this, but yeah. for 40 years, it hasn't worked. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, yeah, it's I'm just very sad. What, what may be another approach that may reach people deeper or, and we ask that all the time more, if there's you know, a different approach please tell us you know yeah. speak to god maybe god will give you a different and um it's just we've prayed a lot about it and god just keeps putting on our hearts expose it expose yeah. it because you know why it gets to everyone's hearts yeah. it does yours when you drive by yeah. it does to your kids well, and i know yeah, and it does in different ways right and so some of it's not good right so so like when I see the church repent, I think, mm -hmm. okay, they're saying there's something wrong with our church. That's what immediately right? people think. And so, and so I'm trying to think, is there a way to say, to be able to reach the people and say, you know, come help us with this? Well, I don't want them to help us, right? And I know what you're trying to say. I want you to do what God calls you to do. Read his word. And he is explicit right. about what that yeah. means. Yeah. So you go do it. Don't yeah. stand with us. I don't need you to stand with us. I need you to go do it. I need you to go save the orphans. I need you to be with the widows. And the biggest orphans are the ones in the mama's stomachs that are being ripped apart. That's the easiest thing to go do. Go stand and help those ladies that are walking to that clinic. Because when we go to the clinic, there's maybe five Christians, maybe. Do you get Do you get many that, that turn and walk away from it? We get a few. Yeah. Um, but again, it's very hard because you can't follow up with them. That's why here is easier because they know they know. Once they get there, that's the final ground. Right, and I'm wondering if, if by the time they're walking up to that building, uh -huh. it, has it, and I guess the answer should be no, but <laughs> is it is it too late? You know, have they already reached the decision that's, that, that thank this you. is what I'm going to do no matter what? That's why very and, few walk away. That's yeah. why we try to do it earlier. I mean, we call the Christians to say, can you just stand up for it? Right? right? Make it known. Speak it. Right. Don't just sit in the pew and say, I'm going to vote for it. No, right. be out there. Right. This is wrong. So it means talk so at the pulpit. So talk in the out. like. You got you to gotta head them off at the pass. High schools, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. Raising your kids to understand just what it is. At a young age, I think. You know, at a Thank young you. Age, right? I mean, my kids know what it is. And so most parents don't want to discuss it with their kids. Mm -hmm. It is it is a hard thing to discuss. Like, what sure. do you mean the moms kill their babies? That's right, right. But once you explain it to them, they're like, that's wrong. Right. So if you raise them that way, yeah. if all these people raise everyone that way and really start thinking, yeah. it would be, it's going to stop. Yeah. Well, that, and that's, and that I like, that I think makes sense. And that's kind of where you got to reach them, I think. Mm -hmm. And these guys have, I mean, throughout the course of the year, they have, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, but seminars or whatever, where you know, maybe a night during the week, they have somebody come in and speak mm -hmm. and talk about a certain topic. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe that's the right place. Is we would love to come speak. To get in church and to have an opportunity to talk about, you know, how to get this in our young girls' heads. Mm -hmm. um, Even the young men, because you know, they encourage the well, women, sure, right? Sure, yeah. But you're right. Yeah, if we can point. get in there and, or any anyone can stand up and do it. It's not just us, right? right, right. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. say, we need to get in this their young people like yeah. this is wrong yeah. and if the moms and dads that go into here yeah. would do that yeah. eventually generations down the line it's going to be elite i'm hoping it's in my generation but i you right. know <laughs> right. yeah but at least All my right. kids hopefully so thank you so much for talking thank i'm you. stephanie by the way randy randy nice to meet thank you, you. did and i give I, you you got one here's I've a got one yeah we, you we do got okay a couple at home and actually i have a young girl so okay thank you thank you Hope so you much god bless you